The U.S. has its first recorded case of the Omicron variant, and it's right here in California. Yeah, the variant has 30 mutations to the spike protein that the virus uses to infect people. Now, that's compared to Delta, which has two, and that's why there's such cause for concern. KCO 9 Orange County reporter Michelle Geely is live in Costa Mesa with what we know about the California case. Michelle. Well, Amy, this person had traveled to South Africa and recently returned home to the Bay Area. South Africa, of course, is the place where the Omicron variant was first discovered. We have learned that this person is an adult under the age of 50 who received two Moderna vaccines. A San Francisco resident is confirmed to have the first known case of the new Omicron variant of COVID-19 in the U.S. Governor Gavin Newsom told reporters this is afternoon that the person was fully, fully vaccinated. vaccinated. Had recently been in South Africa, uh, began her, uh, rather began their travels back into the United States on the 21st, landed on the 22nd, uh, developed some symptoms a few days later around the 25th, got tested. On the 28th, the test came back positive on the 29th. Overnight, officials said that researchers at the University of California, San Francisco, worked feverishly to confirm that the patient's sample was the Omicron variant. The person's symptoms are said to be mild. This is not a surprise. For those of you who have been following this, we knew that Omicron was going to be here. We thought it, would, it was already here. Um, we just hadn't detected it yet. When the pandemic began, the first confirmed COVID patient in California was treated at Hogue Hospital in Newport Beach. Dr. Nathan Gilmore was one of the specialists on that case. He continues to push people to get vaccinated and get boosters. We should be concerned that we're going to face potentially a new wave um, and we'll have to find ways to m minimize the impact. Uh, the concern, though, I think needs to be couched with the same message we had before regarding the Delta, and that is that the vaccines that we have right now are still looking to be very effective, even against this new variant that is the most, you know, different variant that we've seen thus far. Now, this person did not need to be hospitalized and is voluntarily quarantining. The contacts have been tested as well. So far, luckily, they are negative. That's the latest live in Costa Mesa. I'm Michelle Geely. Back to you.